past uh, match day three and match day four uh, showed us a bit of glimpses of what Rufaro Stadium is shaping up to be. So remember, it was partially approved to host matches and it was just for the Easter period. So after that, um, homologation, partial homologation expired. Uh, I'm sure the guys want to see now where they need to twitch because this was just to test if it was shaping up. So, yeah, we saw matches there. Um, fans came. Uh, not really the numbers that we were expecting, but for the test that the first instance board had uh, partially approved uh, Rufaro, I think it worked out well. Yeah, I think it did. And uh, uh, bringing back football to Harare, uh, on a holiday like Easter, on a long holiday like Easter, uh, it was actually good for some people who would love to go and watch football. But unfortunately, because of the resources could not travel far, they found it better to go and watch a Trufaro. And I think if maybe we could, they could get uh, to, 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 to work on the minor, on, the, on some of the things that they need to work on, it would actually be much better to do it the earlier the better so that fans don't get demotivated. You know, because the longer the period, the, 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 the more the fans will be, will, be, will, be, will be turned off. And for us to come back, for Rufaro to come back, it will also take time for fans to gather that confidence, that strength to want to go and watch matches as well. Mm. And David, just, just to correct, you know, mm. the, the misnomer that's out there, you know, a lot of uh, different, you know, platforms saying Rufaro has been suspended. Rufaro hasn't been suspended, but it was partially approved. And that partial approval then expired after the Easter games. And now they're trying to twitch, you know, the areas they saw, because this was a test to see if fans can come in, what needs to be done and all that. Just, just to put that into 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 context. Yeah, but from from what uh, Sharif uh, said, Musa Sharif, uh, the the Chairman FBI, of the boss, FBI. Yeah, the, the F, FIB, FIB, yeah, boss, oh, you know, I said uh, FBI. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> from what he said, I think it's it makes sense. How what? Kuti Rufaro Stadium is one of the biggest stadiums that we have in Arari. Don't compare Rufaro to Nyamunga, to Bata, you know, or to even to Sakuva. Why? Because they host you know, big teams that are based in Arari. So we need better, you know, things. Because remember, if you go to Nyamunga, maybe the biggest crowd you, you can find in Kariba is when Dynamos travel there, when Highlanders travel there, maybe Caps. And it, so that at the end of the day, you can't compare Rufaro to those stadiums. So they want Rufaro to be in the best shape. That's why maybe there was commotion, especially on Friday. When Dynamo's played against the other, there were so many people who were outside. And the ten stars that were used, I think there were just few compared to Aripo Acho Nemawandiro Akaita. Because Masho Maiwayo, I think Do Abaita tests now. Can they, you know, use those ones? Dynamo's can eat or even Caps can eat But you find good we need what all those ten stars when they are working. Remember, people have been starved of Rufaro Stadium for almost like five years. So everyone wanted to be there and to see their beloved clubs playing there. So for me, I, I still feel good. Yeah, there's a long way to go, but if the tennis towers are working, the toilets are properly working, near the materials, they can still do it. But I still feel, Howard, could Rufaro Stadium is needed. Could the Ringer Chico Pama Stadiums are not also Tau Wagunzi. Since there's come a bucket seats. Since the Gazroma dressing rooms are, whatever is in there, and it, Janaga, because we got a playing surface, it was super. The dressing rooms are now super. But what of the terraces? What of the ten styles? Those are the, the, the major things. Junuta is a calf, or even as if I had to, Nefifa could drink a little Gazero, could drink a Jagato Naka. Because among Gazre, playing surface must not gather footage. All those things that I've mentioned. Mm. But looking at uh, Rufaro Yakavarwa, that's 2018, right? 2019. 2019. Yeah. It's been how many years? Were we supposed to be rushing in this last minute? What was happening all along? Do we really, do you really think Howard, we are going to get where we are supposed to get according to FIFA standards? 
I'm sure at some point we're going to get there. Uh, the, the only problem that I see is, you know, the, the way we, we do things. You know, if you look at that uh, adoption cycle, mm -hmm. I always tell people, most Zimbabweans, we are laggards. Mm -hmm. We want to see things out there developing and then, you know, jump on to, to the bandwagon. Mm -hmm. So in this case, yes, from 2019, people knew that Rufaro needed a facelift, mm -hmm. but it was not happening. But now because football is back, Football is here. Can we continue without football in Harare? No, we I'm can't. sure you, we, we all saw what happened last, last year. You know, without football in Harare, teams had, having to adopt Baba Field Stadium, Harare teams for that matter, and the traveling, uh, how taxing it was for our teams. So now stakeholders are trying to put their heads together, trying to come together. I know it's now more like a rushed job. And, you know, when you rush things like that, chances for you to mess up are quite high. Yeah. But I think what we can just appreciate now is there is work being done. And uh, we, you, you guys were reporting that uh, we've got Dynamo's fans, uh, Caps United fans who are coming to the stadium just to help clean up. People now see the need to have football being played in, in, in Harare, especially at Rufaro Stadium, which we all, I know it's cliche, but we call it the ceremonial home of Zimbabwe football. But are we, not, are we not also going to have a situation whereby everyone is busy, focused with Rufaro, wanting to, 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 to make Rufaro uh, so up to standard? And then we forget to also look at, is anything happening at National Sports Stadium? Because my fear is we are going to eventually overload Rufaro Stadium. It's going to start dilapidating while nothing is happening at the National Sports Stadium. We end up coming back to ground zero. So this is my challenge to you. You, you need to conscientize people. Because remember when the National Sports Stadium was closed, it was, in fact, it was temporarily closed uh, mid-season last year. And then got reopened, and now it's closed again, and, and it seems like nothing is happening. So the kind of pressure that you're putting now on the, the, the proprietors of Rufaro Stadium, I'm sure we also need to do the same with the Ministry of, of Sports because they are in charge of the National Sports Stadium. So not only that, go to the City Fathers as well because you've got Gwanzura Stadium. Nice, compact little stadium out there in, in, in Highfield. So we just need to, to, to make noise. Well, I'm going to use this, but we just need to make noise about, because that's the infrastructure that we've got. We can't have all the teams. Remember, we were talking about how many matches were played this Easter weekend at Rufaro Stadium. So, you know, four matches. You know, can Rufaro handle four matches, every you know, weekend. every week? Can we have a situation like that? Yet we've got um, Zivarasekwa Stadium. We've, we've got Gonzura Stadium. Yeah. So we just need to make noise so that the people in charge, the city fathers, know that they need to make sure that the structures are up and running. I'm, I'm sure that's what we need to do. As, as journalists, this is, this is what we need. We need to play our role. It's your premier football show, The Couch, Wednesday at 9 p.m. Konapo Konapo, Ipapo Ipapo, Pazetian Prime, DSV Channel 294, the place to be.